Hi students, welcome to SPR Edutech. So today you're gonna see about 14th May. 14th May important Hindu news analysis for your so called UPSC preparations. This video will be standing as a review of the Hindu news analysis. So as a quick review for more content kindly stay tuned to our channel. So here let me take you over here what are all the important articles of the day. So here groundwater exploitations has been presented in the news. So here it is about the environmental pollution and the, it articles belongs to the geography and GS paper 1 article. So here what is it speaks about. See here groundwater exploitation can lead to the natural disaster and also land subsidence. So here this will be in a means format of questions. They will ask as such that how groundwater exploitation lead to the natural disaster and also land subsidence. So here in India, the report or the so-called content provided here over the research tells that over exploitation is a main reason for the groundwater exploitation in India. So here groundwater is more exploited than the limits and also it is not properly monitored. So here this study says that mostly in the northwestern region, particularly Punjab, Haryana and Delhi where here I had marked in the map groundwater exploitation is very very high and also here the reasons behind is limited monsoon and more people are dependent on the groundwater for the all the uh, works and household agriculture and other activities central government water board is the one that had done research and provided about this so called groundwater exploitations in india here it works under the ministry of jal shakti so here Ag why over exploitation is done because agriculture and groundwater exploitations as the aquifers in that is being dried off and completely utilized so most probably the states like Punjab which has a 76 percentage of over exploitation and Chandigarh has 64 percentage Delhi has 50 percentage of the over exploitation of groundwater and there is no sufficient time has been provided for the uh, water richer of this content and also here ground layers if you take so here so here soil and rock are uh, completely dried off of this aquifers which means the water stored under the water is called as the aquifer that aquifer goes dry and there is no sufficient time to recharge that aquifer so here slowly the land will be sinked so here because of the soil and rocks has been present over there as the water dries off in the aquifer slowly the rocks will sink and land subsidence will happen so here the satellite based analysis has been conducted by india that is what grace which is gravity recovery and climate experiment and also here the main reason behind that stands to be urbanization and also here the urbanization also will further further for the limitless exploitation of the groundwater and next and the main crucial things this will lead to the disasters like natural disasters like floods landslides sickness and also many other the land will sink most probably you can see this incidents happening in the joshi myth so most particularly as the green revolution has been influencing this part of india more development more agriculture and more water usage that is not properly under any control so this will have a bigger impact in the future terms so here let me provide to the other news which is a Gaganyan related news which is present in the Hindu newspaper. We know that what is this Gaganyan? Gaganyan is a manned space flight program launched by India. It should be launched in a for the upcoming days. Here we are in the, our India is planning to launch three Indian astronauts and which includes one woman into the space. So here this will be considering a five to seven days a flight off and also here it will be present in the low earth orbit which is less than 500 kilometers or around 500 kilometers of distance. So here it is an orbital mission. What is an orbital mission? Orbital mission means it will revolve around the earth and return back to India. So here it has two modules. One is a crew module which is a humans carried and service model which carries the so called uh, the uh, liquid propellants and also here other elements which is required to propel the rocket system. So what is the satellite that we use? We use LVM-3 that is the uh, rocket engine that we are going to use that is also called as GSLV Mark 3. So here the astronauts are being trained in Russia. So here Russia is collaborating for us and the Russian government space agency Glav Cosmos is helping our Indians. So here the what is in news today is that is indigenous parachutes are used over here that is what aerial delivery R&D establishment ARDE is an institution organization that is running this. So here it is an Agra based laboratory this belongs to DRDO they are working on the indigenous parachutes which means 
Indian made parachutes that help to the landing of this so called vehicle which means when astronauts return to India it will be landing with the help of indigenous parachutes that will be playing a major role which is made by the Indians that is indigenous so here they had tested it in ISRO Bengaluru so here ISRO has an institutions in Bengaluru there they had tested it so let me take you to the other article so next article is about the three parent baby that is mitochondrial replacement therapy so mitochondrial replacement therapy, what is the requirement of it so actually here mitochondria disease has been a prevalent issue over the uk and many other places so here to get solved this mitochondrial disease this so-called therapy has been promoted so here this is also called as three parent baby which means a baby born will be having three parents a dna or three persons dna so here officially uk government is the first country to approve the mrt which means mitochondrial so-called replacement therapy so here human fertilization and embryology authority is hfea which is belongs to the so-called uk which is working on the fertility research and other things here they had approved they will be approving all the in vitro fertilization that is happening in the uk so after that so here second country that to approve is australia so here what is this three parent baby so here there will be a mother egg a donor egg and also here father sperms so here mitochondrial dna so our mitochondrial disease can be removed as that mother's egg they remove the nuclear genetic material from the mother's egg they collect it and they transfer to the donor egg in the donor egg they will be removing the nuclear dna present in it so here the nuclear dna from the mother egg is shifted to the donor's nuclear dna remove so nuclear dna so which replaces the donor's egg so then father sperm so after the fertilization process it will be developed into a human child so here by this process you can see that so mother's dna will be present donor x dna will be the present and also here father's dna will be present so here we can see the inheritance disease that is called as mitochondrial disease so here mitochondrial disease is a uh, inheritance disease which means it will be spreading from parents to the children so to prevent it and to build a healthy child this scheme has been or this therapy has been introduced so here you can see here more than in uk 6500 babies are born in that born babies each uh, one baby which means around 6500 babies every 6500 babies one baby is born with a mitochondrial disease to solve the disease so issue this mitochondrial uh, replacement therapy has been promoted so here this issue is what so here mitochondria means what understand this one mitochondria means it's a powerhouse of the cell and also here the any mutation or any changes or any disease to the mitochondria will lead to the organ and also uh, organs uh, failure which means energy hunger organs particularly you can see that so mitochondrial disease will lead to the uh, impairments of the liver heart respiratory and also it can lead to death so by promoting this therapy every year we are able to save around 10 uh, childs that are born every year so here it's a major initiative and it also large, large scale it's helping over there so next current affairs is about a kochi coast a major drug burst has been happened let us understand that regarding to that you need to understand three words operation samudragut what is this operation samudragut it is a navy and narcotics control bureau both are coordinatedly conducting this operation samudragut so here it is january 2022 they are so it has been launched initially in january 2022 so here navy and narcotics ncb narcotics control bureau they have uh, conducted this joint operation so here it is a maritime drug control so here in the sea route those were uh, exchanging drugs are happening to transfer these drugs to take a control over it so this operation samudragut has been launched so to stop the drug trafficking and also control of it so samudragut name is given after the gupta empire who is a famous one person and known for his greatest success over the indian empire so indian ocean regions they are conducting such so called drug bust in the Kerala, they had caught recently 2,500 kg of methamphetamine, also called as 15,000 crores, crores of worth of methamphetamine. So it is the largest drug burst ever in India. So here they had bursted this drug from a place called 
mothership what is this mothership national crime records bureau tell that from them they define that a large vessel ship huge quantities of narcotics are present here from there they try to contribute or distribute through the so called boats which means a huge ship holding the drugs will be present in the so called waters so from there a small boat carries the drugs and distribute to the different places that ship holding the major amount of drugs is called as a mothership so here one more thing methamphetamine is a drug they had caught what is it it is also called as a meth so here its odors can create a heart attack and kill a person so it is addictive and also it will be disturbing the central nervous system so here using adh which means so it is used as a uh, medicine also so here uses of this methamphetamine which is cutely called as a meth is that it is attention and deficit of hyper activities narcolepsy and sleeping disorder for that it will be used as a treatment and also here crystal meth means a glass fragments are bluish white it will be present over here it can be intake through smoke tablet snort powder alcohol water and also here it will be impacting the heart brain and kidney so here methamphetamine which is a more increasing what happens is meth if you take the meth your dopamine levels will be high in the brain what is this dopamine dopamine is a chemical that will be uh, instigating as a motivation so whenever you listen to your motivational song or motivational speech within you are your nerves will be pumping blood will be pumping it will be more activated what is the reason behind that is your meth which means your brain will activate the dopamine chemical in your brain so this is the reason for that yeah next current affairs about a migratory butterfly that is called as milkweed butterfly which is a changing its migratory pattern on how it impacts so actually this my um, butterflies are mostly present in the eastern ghats and they are now migrating to the western ghats so they are studying the reason to, to it so actual reason is because of summer and harsh climate it is creating a major impact so here migration pattern what happens so it will create a land use changes habitat in the eastern ghats will be disturbed and it also will create a climate warning over this region because the butterflies are the major source of pollination which is leading to the more amount of plants to grow but uh, actually so when this migration pattern is not okay so changing then this will in turn lead to the major other issues so here so actually so southwest monsoon will give a good amount of rainfall in western ghats so here they move on to western ghats after summer they return back to eastern ghats that is what so here the most common is a dark blue tiger which is a butterfly name which is a which is being shift, shifting to this region more a uh, migrant in nature and also one more thing what is this main or uh, features is it so in this in this region the migration pattern of butterflies will determine the plant life and animal or life over that region so it will create a major impact over that zone also so here you can see the butterfly names this is the most common striped butterfly and this is a blue butterfly dark blue butterfly and plain trigger butterfly these are all the types of butterflies and that is present over here so next if you come to the myanmar so here you can see mocha so here there is a big uh, super cyclone that had hit the so called myanmar region let us understand this mocha so actually it is pronounced as mocha so here tropical cyclone means what in bay of bengal it had stopped uh, it had been uh, initially found so here you can see here between the tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn the cyclone between the two parts tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn in the tropics if it originate that is called as a tropical cyclone so the mocha is the name mocha it is pronounced it is provided by the amen which is a red sea port city located located over the amen which is more famous for the coffee cultivations and coffee a trade so here this has been announced as a super cyclone which is 240 km per hour the speed of it this has been designed by the indian meteorological department and also categorized as the category 4 hurricane so now let us understand what is this cyclone cyclone is decided by the base of the wind speed according to the imd depression is a one uh, which uh, wind speed will be 31 to 49 km per hour deep depression the wind speed will be 50 to 61 km per hour cyclonic storm the speed will be 62 point 62 to 88 km per hour severe and cyclonic storm is 89 to 117 km per hour very severe cyclonic storm will be 118 to 166 km per hour extreme severe cyclonic storm will be 166 uh, to 221 km per hour super cyclone which is greater than 222 km per hour as this is 240 km per hour it comes under the super cyclone which is decided by the imd so here recently shadow okay, shadow 
uh, storm shadow missiles has been used by Ukraine. Actually, this is belong to the U.S. and France. So this is one thing highly capable, which means storm shadow means highly capable missiles. That which means long range cruise missile. This is a uh, long range cruise missile which is supplied by the Britain. Now here, so we can say that this is a very very difficult to target any regions, which means these missiles are uh, targeting the important uh, places, important cities, which are difficult to attack. So here, this is most advanced type of missiles used by the Ukraine. So next, you can see here are the important current affairs of the day. Yeah. Yeah, this is one of the important article. This comes under the art and culture and also here tribes. So here you can see Karbi tribes of Assam. Here they had a distinctive practice called as Chomakkan. What is this Chomakkan? After the death, okay. After the death, so called a ceremony will be there. That death ceremony is called as Chomakkan. So now let me tell you in a brief. So here who are this Karbi? Karbi belongs to the Assam and they belong to the Karbi Anglong district of that region and they practice Jum, which means slash and burn cultivation or shifting cultivation. They are li mostly live in the hilly areas. So here, after the cremation, the ceremony of Chomankan stands to be very significant in their culture of this tribal people. So here, by performing this Chomankan only, their afterlife and rebirth will be happy and also soul will rest in peace. That is what the most trust they have in that you can see the professional mourners are present that is called as Lun Sepi, which means they are planned to sing the sorrow songs and uh, the grand send off is sent to the death person. So it will be holding for hours of crying and also the celebration will go for four to five days. And also here you can see Chomang Khan is very, very important uh, part of uh, organizing in the families of these people. And here they use a Jambeli Athan. What is this Jambeli Athan? Wood a craft making of them which states to be uh, showing the unity of the clan is called as the wood craft. So here you can see, so this is what the traditional dress they use and they mourn during those days, Chamang Khan. And here you can see the, so, so those who are experienced person, those who are activated in the so-called ceremony. So they are mourners, they cry like anything or because of this death, during that death ceremony. Here you can see, they are crying. After that, the important wood traps, everything will be carried by them. So here you can see, this is, it's okay, this is what Kumbeliathan, which is a woodcraft made by the Karbi Anglong people. Here the drum celebrations, everything will be going uh, and a grand send off will be sent to that person. This is what you can see the culture of the Karbi Anglong people. So here, this is all about it. So here you can see one more thing. It is a break of Western Ghats. So here, what is this? I will explain you in a simple way. So here, you know, this is India. Here you have Western Ghats. Here you have Palghat. This Palghat is actually separated. So this Palghat has a link with the so-called Madagascar. This is Africa. This is Madagascar. Between the both, there is a connectivity, which means, so here, you know, the earth is a form of Pangaea and Panthalassa. So this is a Pangaea single landform. Panthalassa is a single ocean. But after that, this has been divided into so, which means uh, two parts, two land masses. This is Laurentia and Gondwana. So, in this Gondwana has been divided into several continents. That is what our Australia and again here comes the, so Africa. So, here one is African plate, other is Australian plate. While this division, before the formation of our India, from the Gondwana land, the separation here created the Palghat gap. So, how you can say this uh, actually here? The article says that, so when you are taking India, so here up to this part, here you have a Nilgiri, here you have Anai Malay. So, here Nilgiri and next here you have the Anai Malay. Okay, Anai Malay. So, Anai Malay hill ranges. So, here both are having distinctive gaps. So, this is around 40 kilometers gap. Here you have a Bharatpula river. Okay, Bharatpula river. This is a gap connects the Tam uh, Tamil Nadu. Okay, no? Tamil Nadu and Kerala. So, this stands to be very, very significant. And this is what creating uh, two types of communication between them. And also here, there is a distinctive. Even the elephant, the birds, whatever live in the Nilgiris and Anai Malay, both are distinctive. And the both are having a distinctive even yeah, so that shows the differentiation between them. So guys, this is a quick review of the Hindu news analysis. If you like the video, kindly like, share and subscribe to this channel. So with your support, if you like this type of discussion and this type of quick review of the Hindu news analysis, then I will try to make it regularly. It is purely dependent on your support guys. So if no supports, I will just stop the video making. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care. Have a nice day.